Hi YouTube, welcome to my seventh Monopoly video. Um, I'll start this one off where I finished last time, which was with the Simpsons Monopoly. Um, I didn't get a chance to show you any of that, so I thought I'd start off with that this time. Um, there's the box over there. This is the old style Simpsons Monopoly. Um, there's been a few new ones recently um, with cards and just with the new style box. Um, there you go, that's a Parker Monopoly. Um, so that's the box, that's the instructions there, which is just the same image as the box. So this is the board here. Um, we'll have a look at the properties. You've got Tire Yard, Cletus's Shack, Legitimate Businessmen's Protection Tax, North Haverbrook Express, Herman's Military Antiques, The Android's Dungeon, Quickie Mart, around. Moe's Bar, Springfield Nuclear Power Plant, The Jazz Hole, Disco Stews, Springfield Station, Noiseland Video Arcade, Sir Puttelots, Barney's Borderama, and onto the Reds, you've got Ye Old Off Ramp Inn, Rancho Relaxo, Sleep Easy Motel, Shelbyville Express, The Frying Dutchman, Happy Sumo, Springfield Dam, Hydroelectric Company, the Gilded Truffle, oh, onto the last stretch here, Duff Gardens, Itchy and Scratchy Land, Krusty Loo Studios, Ogdenville Express, Springfield Glen Country Club, the First Church of Springfield Offering Plate, and Burns Manor. So that's the board there, and as you probably saw, the it sticks with normal chance and community chest with a different image on them. Um, that's chance cards there. With advanced to Rancho Relax, so it's the same basic information on the cards, just with a Simpsons picture. Um, and you've got that's community chest there. And the money has the different Simpsons characters on it. The ones has Maggie. Let me see if I can grab. Fives have Lisa. The tens have Bart. Twenties. Homer, 50s Marge, 100 is Grandpa Simpson, and the 500s, as you probably guess, Mr. Burns, with all his cash. Um, that's the, it's difficult to show you, but the um, property cards, obviously the same, same colours as standard, the cards all have an image on the sort of as a watermark I guess um, and instead of houses hotels you've got monorail stops and monorail stations um, which are yellow and blue and then the dice I find quite interesting the dice are yellow with the black dots and this is just a central scene and then the playing pieces you've got the Springfield elementary bus you've got a statue of Jebediah Springfield a donut, Blinky the fish, which is one of my favourites, um, Kang or Kodo, so I don't know which one it is, but again he's one of my faves, um, Homer in his monorail outfit, Santa's little helper, and Bart in a car. So that's it for the Simpsons Monopoly, I'll just wing that over to one side, and then show you the next one I have. You'll just have to bear with me, I'm afraid. Slide that over there. Might as well. Okay. Next we have. I don't know how clearly this will how clear this will be, but this is the 70th anniversary Monopoly. Um, I got this from a car boot sale for five pounds. Um, which I tried to get him to come cheaper but he wouldn't but it's in fairly good condition a couple of discs on the tin but otherwise it's nice so let's have a look here is the board if I can get it out now it's this is the standard American board um, with a, a nice big image on the in the middle there so just in case you're not from America you've got Mediterranean Avenue, Baltic Avenue, Reading Railroad, Oriental Avenue, Vermont Avenue, Connecticut Avenue, 
St. Charles Place, States Avenue, Virginia Avenue, Pennsylvania Railroad, St. James Place, Tennessee Avenue and New York Avenue, Kentucky Avenue, Indiana Avenue, Illinois Avenue, B&O Railroad, Atlantic Avenue, Ventnor Avenue, Marvin Gardens, Pacific Avenue, North Carolina Avenue, Pennsylvania Avenue, Short Line, Park Place and Boardwalk. So that's all the places on the board. Let's have a look. This is the instructions. This is obviously huge instructions here um, by Parker Brothers and Hasbro. And this has got a load of, this is like a timeline here. Many people know about Charles Darrow in the beginnings, but did you know? Um, a lot of info here. And then this is just the normal rules with some images and just sort of in a, in a big booklet, I guess. And you've got nice sort of holders here, I guess, for all the different things. And um, that's community chest cards there. Let's get out the light. And chance cards. So it's the same as normal, just slightly. The, the cards are nice. Um, and then the dice are sort of, I don't know how easy it is for you to see. They're like transparent, but they've got like glitter inside them. Um, so that's a nice pair of dice. And the playing pieces are just all sort of deluxe versions of the ordinary playing pieces. So you've got the top hat there, but it's got sort of a, a symbol on the side. You've got the thimble with the kind of buildings up the side. The boat, it's a nice speedboat. And um, the iron, it's just like a mega iron instead of a normal iron. The car, it's just a slightly nicer car, I guess. Um, the horse and the rider, it's on a little podium thing there. The shoe, or the old boot is now a high heeled shoe. The cannon is like a proper cannon instead of the, the old fashioned style. Um, again, nice wheelbarrow just with a different sort of symbol on the side. The doggy's up on his hind legs with a collar on and on a nice little platform. The train is now like a shuttle, super train. And I don't know where this comes from, but it's a bag of money. A bag with a load of cash coming out. So that's one lot there. And the next tray, right, that's the cards, they're the, um, what's it called, I don't know, the cards anyway, um, oh they've not been sorted, I obviously haven't sorted these out yet, but it's just as normal, and they're sort of a faded yellowy sort of colour, as a nice bonus, and then the money again is just normal there, it's just got the 70th anniversary sort of symbol on I guess. And the houses and hotels, there's different versions of each. Let's have a look. I think there's four of each. Could be wrong, there might just be three of each. Oh no, there we go. That's the four different hotels there. And it is houses and hotels in this game. And then there are four different houses if I can find them. another one there and no, that's the same anyway I'm sure there's another one there somewhere I can't quite find it that's three of the houses and then there's there's another different kind in there I can't quite find it that's the 70th anniversary one so moving on those away get on to it on to the next one, which is another one that was bought at a car boot sale for me by a friend of mine, um, Star Wars Episode 1 edition. The box isn't perfect, but it was only a pound, so it was probably worth it. That's where he put the price on, unfortunately. Um, and then there's a rip on the back of the box. This one is Waddington's and Hasbro. And that includes five 
coins, I don't know quite what they're for, but and then you've got eight tokens. Get on to another. So that's the that's the instructions there. Just the normal instructions. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the board itself before I show you the contents of the box. We have got right, each of these places is it's one place but two different areas, I guess is best to describe it. So the browns are Naboo. It's difficult to see there, but you've got Naboo swamps and Naboo plains. And then you've got uh, all the train stations are pod races. First one is Sebulba's. The blues are Trade Federation. You've got Battleship Hangar Bay, Battleship Conference Room, and Battleship Control Centre. And then the pinks are Moss Esper, Anakin's Room, Wattles Junk Shop, and Street Market. And then you've got the feed power generator there. Second pod racer is Gasganos. You have to excuse my pronunciation here, I'm not a big Star Wars watcher, so I might be wrong. Um, the orange is Moss Esper Arena. You've got Watto's box, Jabba's box, and the starting grid. The reds are Otto Gunga, I believe. The plaza, the high tower boardroom, and Gungan sub. Third pod racer is Anakin's. Yellow is Feed, Energy Beam Hallway, Generator Core and Main Hanger. Then you've got the Moisture Farm is the other utility there. Green is Feed Palace and you've got the Courtyard, the Main Plaza and the Throne Room. Final Pod Racer is Clegg's. I'm not sure who Clegg is but never mind. I hope it's not Nick Clegg. Um, and finally the Navy is Coruscant, which is Galactic Senate and Jedi Council, and then you've got blockade there, and trade route tax is income tax. And as you probably saw, and same with the other Star Wars game, instead of chance community chess, you've got Jedi and Sith. I don't know if you can see that there. But that's the two two places. Um, okay, so let's have a quick look at the box itself. That's Title deed cards are just normal, nothing exciting on the back, just normal cards. Instead of houses and hotels, you've got apartments and towers, which I will show you now. Apartments are small and silver, slightly different to the houses, and the hotels are quite funky. They're a sort of bronze or gold, I guess. Um, and then that's the Sith. And Jedi, obviously all be one on there. Um, look, the money has all got the same symbol on. It's just uh, one of the cities. Uh, the dice, black and white. That's the five coins that I was telling you about on the front. All got Galactic Republic. Republic. I don't know who it is that's on them, but. They've all got the same image on them. And then the playing pieces, you'll have to... I have no idea who any of these are, so I'll just have to show them to you. That's some kind of creature. Um, a droid of sorts. Ah, Jar Jar Bing, so I recognise him. Um, Darth Sidious, I believe, in his hood. Darth Maul, because he's got a twin lightsaber. Emperor Armadale, or whatever her name is. Um, maybe Obi Wan, not entirely sure. And probably Anakin Skywalker. Okay, so that's the. Star Wars Monopoly, and unfortunately that's all the time I have, which is a bit of a bummer, but never mind. Um, I may upload another video quite quickly. Um, please let me know if this is better or worse than my normal videos with the um, with my mobile, okay? Catch you later, YouTube. Bye.